hey guys how you doing welcome back to my channel it's natea so as you guys saw in the intro i decided to do the crisscross hairstyle using locks so this is how i prep my hair i did wash my hair before and as you guys saw i parted it in like four sections in the front because that's what i'm going to be doing my crisscross i am going in with some over oil for my scalp because this winter my scalp has been acting like crazy acting up like crazy i have no idea what's happening but it's just going crazy okay i'm gonna be using my edge booster and elastic band and this rat tail comb guys the footage that i filmed created on my camera i don't know where it is i'm just showing you guys how my edges are thinning out and i don't know why i don't know what i'm doing wrong I don't know what I'm doing different I just do not know what's happening maybe I think it's my eczema and stuff like that because it's been acting up like crazy lately but I'm gonna be addressing that hopefully I can get it fixed if you guys have any pointers for me you can let me know I try not to put much tension on my hair and I do change my hair regularly but yeah all right guys so let's get into the video so for each section I'm gonna be parting each section into two and then I'm gonna be parting each section into four, if you guys understand what I'm saying. So you guys can just watch. So I part one section into two, then I put the elastic band and then I'm gonna twist that part up. So the footage here that you're seeing, the reason why it is like this is because I did this part on my phone for content for TikTok and Instagram, so that's why. Okay, so I can't find the footage that was on my camera. I don't know where it is. So, yeah. All right, so again, I just part a little square box and then I put some of the edge booster on it. And then I'm gonna be putting an elastic band on. Guys, my hair is super thin, okay? So I got braids in December and I think maybe that was what happened because I don't normally let people do my hair but whenever I do I always end up losing my edges y'all so when I do my hair I don't lose my edges but if I let somebody else in my hair I lose my edges and I'm thinking maybe that was that was what happened but I'm gonna be trying my best to grow my edges back I'm trying to do less tension you know in my hair so then I'm gonna be connecting like doing a crisscross with the two that I have in the two squares that I have in the front and yeah it's just simple crisscross I don't know how to explain it but you guys can just watch it 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 can get a little bit confusing when explaining but most of us know how to do it and again as I said I'm lessening the tension on my scalp on especially my hairline because as you guys see eczema or I don't know what just eat it all up and I don't know where it went <laughs> so I am on the verge of reclaiming my edges y'all on the verge of maybe it's but I've only done two crushes style since here begin so I don't even know I don't know guys but that's what it's looking like so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest and this is what it looks like all done again I try to put as little tension on my scalp as possible so for the star of the show we're gonna be using the maverick locks from janet collection so this video was sponsored by janet collection they were kind enough to send me over the hair and this is what the locks is looking like it's like a twist it's like a combination of a twist and a lock so and it has a curly end i do have it in the medium brown number two and this here is 30 inches long so it's the nala tress premium edition um maverick locks so to do the installation i just crochet the locks into the last square of the crisscross and then i'm just gonna pull my hair through with the other end of the lock and secure it okay so as you see my twist is still out so what i'm gonna be doing is that i'm gonna be unraveling the hair the lock and i'm going to be twisting it around my natural hair just to put it away i didn't want to use an additional no additional pieces of hair or anything like that so i am just twisting it around and it it locks 
yeah so that's what it's looking like see it's completely inside so i'm gonna be doing that for the i i got a little excited okay so again use your crochet needle pull it through then i'm gonna pull through my hair and the other end of the lock and then i'm gonna secure that just like you know pull it a little tight and i'm gonna be unraveling the lock and then i'm gonna be wrapping it around my hair so the good thing about this lock is that it unravels easily and it goes back to its original look the same okay it's it's it still is easy to do it you guys can see what it's looking like there okay i was like feeling myself so i'm just going to show you guys again <laughs> insert the crochet hook put it through the lock pull the lock through gonna be pulling my hair and the lock then the other end of the lock through the loop then i'm gonna secure it and i'm gonna be wrapping it around right so that's what it is okay i hope you guys get it i hope you guys understand and if if you get it better watching than listening to me explaining it uh, that's good because i think sometimes i'm pretty shitty at um, explaining things okay so again one last time push the crochet hook through attach it to the loop pull the hair through open the loop pull my hair and the other end of the lock through then i'm gonna unravel the lock and wrap it around my hair okay when unraveling the lock you want to unravel it or wrap it when you unravel it, you want to wrap it in the same direction um that the lock was wrapped in if you get what i'm saying so that it just it just morph around your hair okay and like becomes a part of it okay so we are all finished with the front and i was like wasn't sure if i was feeling it yet but you know you guys already know how i do the back of my hair listen guys don't watch the cornrows in my hair they aren't perfect i just wanted some anchors for these um locks okay i tend not to do the back of my hair in perfect cornrows majority of the time is because i can't see anything around there and i don't have an additional mirror to do that and i don't have anybody to part my hair for me so i just kind of just go along with the flow and just make it work so i am doing two finger width apart here or i think i did one finger width apart and then i change it to two finger width apart please forgive my daughter she's in the video with me she wasn't feeling well so she kind of wanted to be with her mama so if you guys don't want to see her you can like click off now you know but yeah <laughs> sometimes she's gonna be there okay sometimes all right guys so as I said before, that little piece of hair was just hanging there. I did, I forgot to crush it in, so I'm just doing that right now. So as I said, I did it two finger width apart, and I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that up. And once I come back, you will see the finished look because it didn't take a long time to do, which is awesome. So this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put myself together a little bit and then I will be back. All right guys, so this is it. This is the finished look. I've had this in for, I think, um, three days. So this is day number three and it is not looking bad at all. There are some spaces in the back or some gaps, but that's okay. You can finish yours to look a little bit different. So again, this here is from Janet Collection and it's they are maverick locks in 30 inches and i have it in the color number two the hair is lightweight guys it feels like there's nothing on my head it is easy to manage it is not heavy i just really like it so if you're interested in getting this hair you can go ahead and do it you can do single um plaits you don't have to do cornrows you don't have to do crochet you can do them individually if you choose so yeah guys this was a nice hair and i really like it right so thanks again janet collection for sending me over this here so that's it guys for this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe leave your comments down below let me know what you think about the style i'm trying to do something different apart from wigs so yeah let me all know what you think all right guys that's it don't forget to be the most authentic you i'll catch you guys later keep saying queens bye bye peace to obvious reasons true love is no longer in season who can you trust anymore all they do is walk out the door eventually he's